Hello and welcome to my bed where Tilly Walter and I will be hanging out today. <laughs> we are not going anywhere, okay? It's snowing. It's disgusting. And oh hi Tills. Did you just drop your ball in the sick bucket? What is my life? <laughs> don't don't go after that, hun. Don't go after that. So I've had a particularly hard weekend. Uh, we filmed Saturday's video. It's fine. That's fine. And then boom, hit with the worst headache and vomiting. And I mean, it wasn't even a headache. It was like a 12 on the pain scale. It was just pain. And I think I was just being sick because every time I moved my head, it hurt so much. Um, <laughs> and it just kind of kept coming and going a bit. So not feeling good. I feel quite cheery inside, in my body, my bod in my soul. My mind and my soul, very cheery. My body, not so good. Not so good. Hence the lying flat on my back in bed. This has gone on too long for an intro, Jessica. So instead of just filming a video in my bed, again, I thought I would show you some footage that we took in November but then we didn't get to use. This is on the day that my friends actually surprised me with that 100k dim sum party, uh, which you saw in my family favorites video. <laughs> And it was also the day that we made cards for the Rainbow Card Project, yeah! Which had to be sent before the 1st of December, which is why we filmed it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little day, this little look, and back to regular programming on Tuesday, tomorrow. Try again. wife she always brings me a cup of tea and recently a cup of lemon syrup first thing in the morning are you sulking is it too early for you guys oh this is what i sleep next to every day <laughs> 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 she's just staring at you like wake up get up Wake up, get up. <gasps> Where's she gone, Tills? Where's she gone? <gasps> Where's mummy hiding? Oh. <gasps> is she under there? Is she? Yeah. Is that where she is? Oh my gosh. You're helping with the editing there, Tills. Always. <laughs> She's doing a great job. Hi, good. Hello. Hi. What are you listening to? Uh, well, I'm trying to find some appropriate Christmas music. The Christmas lookbook. Mm-hmm. So, like, thinking twinkly... Mm, Christmassy. Sort of up, but kind of upbeat. Is that what you kind of want? Yeah. I don't know. So why have you? <laughs> I don't know why she does that. What are you doing to him? <laughs> She's asserting her dominance by sitting on him. He doesn't look that bothered. He's just. <laughs> yeah, we're going for dim sum. Dim sum. Never heard this song before. Thanks for driving. <laughs> How are you going to get to the dim sum if you don't drive? Oh, I... Thank you. Cheers. So, for anyone who has not been to dim sum before, I feel like we must have gone to dim sum in another vlog. In another vlog, but I don't think we have. Have we never been to dim sum on camera? <gasps> Chinatown. I'm sure we went to Chinatown. But yeah, I don't think we had dim sum though. Anyway, we love dim sum. It's the best thing ever. I'm so happy you introduced me to it. It's to me. 
So for those of you who don't know, who may be watching this video and you've never watched one of my other videos, I couldn't eat carbs for 10 years. Absolutely no carbs, so that's no grains like corn, oats, rice, wheat, but also no root vegetables like potatoes. Why am I blanking on root vegetables? Uh, Pasta. Beetroot. Or sweet potato, which I now absolutely love. <laughs> carrots. <laughs> carrots, no carrots. There we go. We're going to get this there is a eventually. Fun game. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Just about a year ago, Claudia introduced rice into my diet. And we started really slowly, started with, well, actually, we started with sweet potato to build up my tolerance to a little bit of starch. And now we found that I can manage rice. I just can't do anything, any el anything else really. But rice is amazing. As long as I don't gorge on it, we're good. And dim sum involves a lot of rice, so a lot of rice parcels. And yeah. it's so tasty and so good. And I absolutely love Asian food. So dim sum is tiny little dishes that are served to the table and you all share them. And I love sharing food, so I feel like I get bored with food. It's like Chinese version of Spanish tapas, but rather than having it in like lunchtime or evening, it's traditionally a sort of brunch lunch time. Like you'd normally yeah. stop serving it's dim sum at like 4 p.m. kind of thing. <gasps> Good time. I'm so hungry. <laughs> chili chili. But we went to the Chinese shop, so now we have actual chili chili <laughs> to put on our food because I don't know how to eat food without chili sauce anymore. Nah. Tastes bland. Yeah. Ugh, English food. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Oh, baby, baby. How was I supposed to know? Cut to you. Something wrong about me. No! <laughs> what? I don't know the word. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that something wasn't right, yeah? Same sort of thing as what I just said. <laughs> oh, she just wanted a piece of paper. Oh, I see. Well, just like, hey, she wouldn't let me have any. You can have it. That was how she's allowed to. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she just wanted, just wanted to take it in here. The Rainbow Cards Project is a charity that fights the isolation prejudice can bring by spreading simple acts of kindness. Through the project, you can send birthday and holiday cards to the LGBTQ plus people with discriminatory families who won't be receiving any from them. We had to make and send the cards before the 1st of December to make sure they were distributed for Christmas, but you can get involved all year round. Here's the website address, and I'll also leave links in the description with how you can get involved whether that's sending cards, donating so others can send, or receiving them yourself. I'd also like to give a little shout out to Ellie, the founder of the Rainbow Cards Project, who has a chronic illness, yet runs the entire thing by herself. Please, please, please go and give this amazing charity some love, and if you're in need of Christmas or birthday love, then sign up and maybe you'll get one of our cards. Wouldn't that be funny? Let me know if you do.
I'm going to make turkey burgers. Yes. And slightly spicy ones. And slightly, slightly Chinese five spicy. Mmm. Better turkey burgers with lettuce, because obviously no bun. And some avocado and a pesto. Going to make a pesto. It's going to be darn good. Yes, it will. But obviously no garlic and no onions because they are not friendly to the FODMAP diet. No. And I'm going to make it so good that even Claudia will eat it, even though right now she is desperately craving... What are you craving? A massive beef burger. In a bun. <coughs> actually, the bun bit's not so bad. Not, not actually such a big deal. It's more... I just want to smack my lips around some meat. Ooh. <laughs> And bite it into tiny pieces. I don't know whether that's better or worse. Well, maybe worse. Let's cut that bit. Yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> With all of my massive cutlery at the back, because it doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> we are lesbians. We live in Brighton. We make movies for the internet. And that, you know creative millennial sort of way and yet we're not vegan definitely not <laughs> There you go. That was a look at one of the days of November, <laughs> which I just worked into Vlogmas for you. Enjoy. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, who has written about my PO box and that you're really excited because I am very, very excited. Claudia and I are thinking that we're going to do a live stream one day, probably a day where we've just got too much on and we're kind of travelling a bit, maybe, and we can't film very much that day. But instead, we'll do a live stream in the evening. And we will do an unboxing, an opening of all the things that we receive in our PO box. Hmm, whatever that may be. Might be like one thing, but it will be opened on a live stream. There you go. And for any, yeah, people ask me questions just to say that a PO box is for absolutely anything. I believe, I think you can just send anything you could send in the regular post. It's just a different address. It's not a physical box. It's not, there's no set size to the actual PO box. Which is probably better because it doesn't have to go through a letterbox. So there you go. And don't forget to enter my giveaway because I am really excited to be able to send a wonderful gift to one of you. I know some people have mentioned that they're not on Instagram um, because this giveaway is you have to be following me on Instagram as well as subscribed on YouTube. So in the new year I'm going to do a just YouTube giveaway. Make life easier for you guys. So yeah, I hope you've had a lovely Monday. <laughs> well, I, I am in bed. And I hope you had a great start to the week and I hope the rest of your week is lovely too. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.